Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about how to measure volume. Volume measures how much space an object takes up, like how much liquid is found in these containers. Now let's break down these measurements. Eight ounces make a cup. Two cups make a pint. Two pints make a quart, and four quarts make up a gallon. Let's fill out this chart, and I think it will help us understand the relationship among these different units of volume measurement. At the top, we have ounces, cups, pints, and quart. Next, we know that eight ounces make up a cup, two cups make a pint, and two pints make a quart. We will eventually get to the gallons. Now under the ounces we have 8, 16, 32, and 64. Let's start with what we know. We know that 8 ounces equal 1 cup. So we have 1 there. Now let's see if we can't figure out the pattern. In order to get 1 cup we divided the ounces by 8 because there's 8 ounces in a cup. So now for 16, let's divide it by 8, and that gives us 2 cups. Let's move down. 32 divided by 8 equals 4, and 64 divided by 8 equals 8. Now let's move over to pints. We have cups. So let's start with what we know. We know that 2 cups equals 1 pint. So we will divide 2 divided by 2 equals 1 pint. Let's move down to the 4. We'll keep the same pattern. 4 divided by 2, because there's 2 cups and a pint, equals 2 pints. Now... Let's move down to the 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4 pints. Now let's move up to the 1. We're going to keep the same pattern. We have 1 divided by 2, which is 1 half. So that finishes up the pints. Let's move over to quarts. Now let's see if we can't figure out the quarts. So what do we know? We know that two pints equal one quart. So we will begin there. And so now, in order to get the one quart, we divided two by two because there's two pints in a quart. So let's move down. So next we have four pints, divide by two, and that equals two quarts. Now, what do we do here at the top? Well, we have, again, we have one pint, and we're going to divide it by two. So that gives us one half. But now with this top one, you may have not done the, this math yet, but we have one half of a pint, and we will just divide that by two. So we have one half divided by two. In order to do that, we keep change flip. We will change the division to multiplication and flip the fraction to one-half, so we have one-half times one-half, which is equal to one-fourth. I know that's kind of tricky math. Now, let's add gallons. So I'm going to add a column and a row. So let's start with one gallon. So what do we know? We know that one gallon equals four quarts. There's two pints in a quart. So 4 times 2 is 8. Now there's 2 cups in a pint, so I will multiply 8 times 2, that gives me 16. And then there's 8 ounces in a cup, so I will take 16 times 8, and that gives me 128 ounces. So 1 gallon equals 4 quarts, 8 pints, 16 cups, and 128 ounces.